This is a torso model. And in this video, we're going to look at two specialized circulatory systems. First of all, we're going to look at the pulmonary system. The circulatory system is divided into two systems. The systemic system, where the left side of the heart pumps blood to everywhere in the body. And the pulmonary system, which the right side of the heart pumps blood to the lungs. So blood is ejected from the right ventricle into the pulmonary trunk. The pulmonary trunk divides into the left and right pulmonary arteries. Now in the systemic system, when we see a blood vessel that is red, we know that it is an artery that is carrying oxygenated blood away from the heart. In the pulmonary system, where we see a vessel that is blue, we know that it is an artery that is carrying blood away from the heart, but in this case, it is carrying deoxygenated blood. The deoxygenated blood goes to the lungs, it goes through a capillary bed where gas exchange takes place, and it becomes oxygenated, and then it returns through these veins called the pulmonary veins. And these are the only veins in the body that are carrying oxygenated blood. These veins drain into the left atrium. Now, let's take a closer look. Here we have an airway that goes down and forms alveoli, which are air sacs where gas exchange takes place, and two pulmonary vessels. The vessel here in blue is a branch of the pulmonary artery carrying deoxygenated blood away from the heart. It forms capillaries in the alveoli where gas exchange take, takes place and the blood becomes oxygenated. The oxygenated blood is taken back to the heart via the red vessel here which goes to form the pulmonary vein. Now we're back to our torso model, and we are going to take a look at the hepatic portal system. A portal system is where the blood is drained through two capillary beds. The first capillary bed is in the digestive organs, and then all of those organs drain into the hepatic portal vein and go to the liver, where it goes through a second capillary bed. So now, let's take a closer look at the liver. This is the liver. It's composed of four lobes. From an anterior view, we can see two of the lobes. If we turn the liver so we get an inferior view, we can see posteriorly we have the inferior vena cava, which goes through the liver, and we have the gallbladder here. Here we can see a, the bile duct. The vessel in red here is the hepatic artery, which is bringing oxygenated blood to the liver. And this vessel here is the hepatic portal vein, which is draining all of the other digestive organs. If we take a closer look here, Each lobe of the liver is composed of many lobules. In the center of each lobule, there is the central vein, which drains into the hepatic vein. At the corner of each lobule, we have the hepatic triad. Now, if we take a closer look, here we can see the lobule magnified. In the center, we have the central vein and on the outside, we have the hepatic triad. This consists of a branch of the bile duct, it consists of a branch of the hepatic artery, and a branch of the hepatic portal vein. So oxygen-rich, nutrient-poor blood is delivered by the hepatic artery. The hepatic portal vein delivers nutrient-rich, oxygen-poor blood. Those blood mix along these capillaries here, which are sinusoid capillaries, and then drain into the central vein. These cells here 
of specialized cells called hepatocytes, which play a major role in metabolic activities. Mm -hmm.